Is there where I'm for IFL TV in association with MTK Global? I'm at Boxar Gym today in Mill Hill, joined by light heavyweight Miles Shinkwin. How are you, you doing, Miles? All very good? Well, very well, thank you. Very well. Um, obviously, it didn't go your way last time against Liam Conroy, um, and a bit controversial as well. Do you know? Only, only a bit. Only <laughs> just a bit. Um, for those who don't really know about what happened or didn't watch the fight, explain, explain what happened. Um, yeah, um, nothing again. I have nothing after what happened. Nothing against Conway. You know, first round we controlled, um, which is unlike me. I'm, I'm a slow star, so the signs for him look bad. For on our part, look, look great. Come out second round, um, and hit me, hit me with a right hand. The eyes. It did catch. It caught me. It, it didn't hurt, but it caught me. Um, and the next that he then bundled me back to the ropes, which I think then gave the impression I was hurt. But I was, I was saying that I was, because um, I've got the rematch, so I can say now whatever, but he didn't hurt. Uh, and then repeatedly he went back here, I think 10, 11, 12 times, mm. and then uh, to which the referee didn't snag him up. And then after about six and a half, I think there were, I was honest. Um, and I watched it back, but I realised how bad it was. Um, the funny thing was on the way up there, um, Don said in the car, we're going to have to pull the referee about illegal punches because I've been, wa been watching him. It's, it's, a, it's a recurring thing in his fights. Mm. Referee comes in the change room beforehand and says, uh, basically, look, I know you've been around the block, I know you've been around a long time, I'm not going to tell us like eggs. Three things, bang my commands at all times, keep my above the belt, and under no circumstances do you hit the back of the head. So it, 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 what was it, it pisses him off and it pisses me off. Don't fucking do it. It's the exact words. And, I'm, and it's a little done to say like, there you go, look. So he's like, oh, there you go, the same thing. And then, and then watching it back in the first round, he'd be twice in the back of the head. Which, uh, the first one, the back of the head, I hit him with a body shot. You know, I got pulled up for hitting low when they hit him about up here somewhere. So the signs are probably there earlier than we, we realised, but um, the board have reviewed it, seen that the ending was unjust, you say, and they've done the right thing and ordered a rematch. Okay. Um, now, for anyone who watched it on Box Nation, the commentators didn't actually weirdly really enough say anything about what kind of rabbit punches. Um, no. It's Frank. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put it in stick here, but Alex Stephen messaged me that night on Twitter saying, just watched it back, and I can't really see it, how blatant it was. So. That made me feel a bit, not, not made me feel a bit, bit better, but it's nice to know you're not, when, when it's actually after the fight, I didn't want to start, I didn't say anything that night, mm. um, everyone was saying to me how bad it was, and I said, like, just let me get home, I'm watching it on my own, yeah. I was getting sent pictures and videos and stuff, and from what I could see on the night, it was, it was, it was, it was blatant, I didn't want to like, rush into saying, you know, social media saying two things, so I left it until I think, I think two or three days later, I mm. um and but when, when you know, Alex is obviously his, his nose was talking about and to for him to mesh me that night to say yeah. they'd seen it, it was all, I felt you know what well, at, at least I know it's not just my team and my friends saying to me oh well, you, you'll beat me but at least it was a, an outsider saying it um, and, and to be fair on the night things happen so quick when you're in a ring and then you're watching I, can't remember, I, I didn't see them on the night it was Liam Smith and Alex I didn't I didn't see them on the night where they were sitting so they were sitting behind us, uh, uh, behind Conway, they wouldn't have seen anything. So, you know, it's one of the things I'm not, I'm not going to get annoyed at people who can't see you know, the obvious. You've obviously seen a bit of, well, after the fight, sort of put back and forth between you and Liam. Um, what did Liam sort of have to say about the punch to the back of the head? Uh, I think he must have been told to just play dumb about it because, you know, it, it, was, it was obvious. It, it, if you, if you, in the night, I, I screenshot uh, a, a, a picture of the fight and sent it to him, and he still and, and the punch was literally like up here, down the back of the top of my neck, mm. and he said that's legal. So if you just can't see straight, or you are just being told what to say, I'm not sure. Uh, and he blocked me anyway, so. <laughs> I'm still blocked there. I'm still blocked. I, got, I was unblocked for a couple of days, and then I don't know if I'm to him, and he blocked me. I think a lot, a lot of people who assume from my friends. Just boxing fans who know who who saw what happened, have obviously have seen what happened. Give him, not give him a chance to say 
like it, it was wrong. But to see if he come out and said, yeah, they weren't, they weren't. I didn't mean it. Let's go again and prove it. I think you want to say, try to play to him. But he didn't come out and said that it was all legal, it was all fine. I was, you know, I was struggling, blah blah blah, which wasn't the case. So I think, I think, I think fight fans don't like that. Try and be honest, try and be as honest as you can, and that's not what he's been. So when we get on again, he'll get found out. Mm. So as far as you're aware, that rematch between you and Liam Conrad. Yeah, that, David Hay, David Hay won the first bid. Um, just put them down here. They, 14th of September has been set, so... Well, Joe Joyce is built, yeah. I, I assume so, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, it's just, it's just me and Box Road, me and him and Box, so I'm going to guess it would be him, yeah. Mm. Um, so, so that way. Now, has he been offered another fight, Neil Conrad? Uh, I don't thought so. I don't thought so. But, yeah, you know, one is... Do you know the name? But, <laughs> no, but until, until he's... While he's got a belt, he's... he's um, He's a target, isn't he? If he hasn't got a belt, I don't, I don't think who's going to want to find him. The form he's in, you know, been has been in for the last year or so. Let's 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 call him a knockout whenever me. It's, cause that's what he's on paper. McIntyre two rounds and he's had a couple of good wins before that. Um, if it's for nothing, you're not going to want to fight him. Mm. So we see. I, you know, I, I'm, tra- I'm I'm in training. I, I don't really get out of training too much, so mm. I. Just carried you, you know, it's nine weeks today, yeah. nine weeks today. Mm. So, um, ideal timing for us, really. Kick on now, and Frank will be fighting in a couple of weeks. So, mm. um, we've got Jordan Jones in the gym, we've got Eric Rocondo now is in the gym, we've oh, got right. one of the trainers, right. so Frank. Um, so, like everybody's buying, is, um, mm. is great in house. Yeah, you mentioned Frank there. Um, obviously, out on uh, July 28th at the O2, the pay per view bill, and it. Uh, it's a good chance for him, sort of, he needs a couple of fights to put his mark on the division again. I don't think he needs a couple, does he? What, I don't, I, just just one, the one? One round, one round knockouts or stoppages are always a bit of a, I thought I low time for it. I never read into him too much because you saw what happened. Frank clipped him, he clipped Frank. Mm. He clipped Frank a bit better than he got picked himself and, and then just jumped on him and fights over. There's no, well, there is a winner and loser, obviously there's a winner and loser, but there's no, Better fight than the other person, is it really? Nothing's been established other than he may hit a bit harder. Doesn't make him a better fighter. If Frank's right hand he caught him sort of land, landed an inch over away, he might be fought over the other way. And everyone was saying, now that Frank's um, doing uh, going for the world honours, but he's mm. not. So he'll have an, he should have a nice win uh, on the 28th. Yeah. And I, I don't see why he shouldn't be right back up there. So and obviously, I don't think Johnson will be defending that side, will he? I think he's, uh, by sound thing, he's going to. Try and pass it on to Burton. Well, he, Johnson, Cam Johnson now fighting obviously for the IBF yeah. title against Paterbi Zep. Um, how do you, have you seen much of Paterbi Zep? Uh, a little bit. And, Enough. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Enough. Obviously, lots of people saying it's a step too far for Cannon. Um, some also are saying that he's, he's got the power and sort of, if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Cannon Johnson. So, how do, you, how do you rate his chances in that one? Well, fair play to him for the start. He's mm. 32, 33. Mm. He's been, for been, a he's been very inactive. Um, and he's come back with a, with, with a great win over Frank, really. Um, got a great shot. It's a great, great shot. And like, like I say, people like Pateri, if you're going to beat him, it's going to be by power. Mm. And, and Cullen's also got that. So if he lands on him early, everyone's saying he's a beast and this and that, but people get knocked out. Mike Tosman was a beast and knocked out. People, people can be... Unbreakable on your beat, so if he can land on him, any anyone with, anyone with a, punch, a big punch has got a chance always. Yeah. So, and, and Johnson's amateur is very good, so he can box. Not everyone, I think everyone's trying to make out he's, he's some big punch now because he, he beat Frank he has, but he can, he can fight for it, he can, he can fight Cannon, yeah. definitely fight uh, and box, I say. So, I wouldn't write him off. You know, if, if it goes, if he goes, you'll you tell from the first punch now if the lands early and hurts him. People are going to say, oh, well, you know, too early, too, too much, and he jumped up too quick. Mm. But why not? Yeah. You know, no, one's, no, one's, no one's jumping and fighting now, are they? Yeah, like, uh, in, uh, in England. No. In Britain, sorry. No one's dying to fight <laughs> Cam Johnson now, off seeing that. So, what's he going to do? Mm. Well, he might. And it, it's it's a good luck to him. Yeah, fair play to him. He's putting it a career high payday, mm. and a chance to win. And whenever, when all's done, he can say, football works up. Yeah. Against 
most feared man in the division. Mm. So, I mean, oh, fair play to him. Yeah, I mean, if he does win that world title, um, brings it back here, and then wants it to defend it against the likes of Frank in the rematch, Empty Yard, Jose Burton, and some big fights uh, domestically. Don't think you're going to fight No? No, it's your mates in there, over that and the rapping. But I think he's about vacating a uh, British title. I think Frank and uh, Burn get on again, definitely. Mm, okay, so that's of course, yeah. Frank's obviously have that rematch with uh, Jose Burton. Um, yeah, I th- yeah. Still, I mean, yeah. I think you're right. One fight with Frank, and then he's back in contention. If if Frank got beat over ten rounds in a grueling fight and got a bit uh, beat up, yeah, you say okay, you got work. Can you get a kind of good will wins here? Mm. But he didn't. He got a. I wouldn't say a lucky punch, it wasn't a lucky punch, it was a good shot, early, when you're cold, and, and it ended. So, I'd say, he, he said, oh, he said, the next, the next day he felt like he'd fight again. So, why go back to fighting lower level when you need to? Mm. So, something that's worse for you, going down, down, it brings you down to their level. Has, has he, obviously, I don't know if you've seen much of him in the gym, has he changed much with Don Frank? Or is, is it... The defence has got a lot better. Okay. You know, Don's, Don's obviously a very def- defence-minded coach. Um, that's why I come here, because as an amateur, I was very good defensively and sort of lost my way a little bit with that. Um, and my first meeting with Don, I was just, he, he outlined what he'd do for me. He was all about my defence. So uh, you know, I knew then it was right for me. And Frank the same. Frank, you know, notoriously in hard fights. Uh, gets hit twice, give you three. But he's improved on that, and, you know. His way, his way was one, one, one punch away nearly from winning the British title out there. Yeah. Um, same sort of question to you. As, as I don't know how long you've been training since that uh, Liam Conroy lost, but have you changed much? Done? Um, if you'd have seen me fight as an amateur to me fight two or three fights ago, you wouldn't have, wouldn't have recognised me. I sort, of, I sort of got a bit carried away with entertaining people. Yeah. Uh, like just trying, trying, not trying to brawl. I've never been a brawler, but uh, taking way too many punches. Um, and as an amateur, I, you know, I, 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 I was like barely were hit, but my fights were probably pretty boring to watch because it was always te- always very technical. Um, so I said, Don, just, just trying to get me back to get back to how I used to fight. Really, just not getting hit so much. Yeah. You, know, you, you haven't got to please everyone all the time. Yeah. Well, Boxing is about winning, and in 20 years' time, people just remember winners, not people who are entertained. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, thanks for your time today, Mark. Appreciate it. Um, Thank you. Hopefully, that rematch does go ahead with you and Liam Conroy. And uh, if it does, I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. Awesome. Talk to you later.